Hi everyone, in the blessed name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, how are you? How is everybody doing? I hope everyone is doing great. Today we have another numerical contradictions in the Bible. The program is Ask an Atheist. Well, we have a question for the atheists. Uh, so let's, let's, let's go to the video and then come back to this uh, topic. Now, uh, please listen. Uh, these are uh, famous Bible scholars and now atheists. Once upon a time, there were Bible scholars, Christians, and now they are famous atheists. Let's go and learn from them. Let's watch, please. Please watch and listen. Uh, today's Topic Biblical Contradictions Ask an Atheist. Okay, let's listen. There's a couple more uh, contradictions of numbers. What's another one we have up there? So, uh, how many stalls did King Solomon have for his horses? <laughs> one verse says he had 40,000. Another verse telling the same story said he had 4,000. So which is it, 40,000 or 4,000? The, the, these are, are numbers of biblical proportion, you notice. They seem so exaggerated. Yeah, <laughs> yeah do you think a king ever had 40,000 stalls for his horses? Well, who knows when they were retelling the story. Uh, and then I think there's one more uh, numerical. Okay, let's, let's go back because uh, uh, I answered some of them before. Uh, so I'm answering one by one, and now no, let's go to the Bible and learn what it says. So that's the atheist. This is a Bible scholar, Bible scholar who spent his time in the studying in the university and teaching students and preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. But, but, but. Something happened, and he disappeared, and they disappeared, rather, and now they have found contradictions in the Bible, and everyone is laughing. Everyone is laughing. Have you? Let's go. Let's read. Let's see. Uh, numerical contradictions. First King chapter 4, 26. Solomon also, Solomon also had 40 thousand stalls of horses for his chariots and twelve thousand horsemen wow wow what is that Solomon what did he have forty thousand stalls of horses for his chariots and twelve thousand horsemen okay the same topic says uh, Mr. Dam Baker uh, the atheist, the same topic is written a different part of the Bible. Let's go. Solomon had 4,000 stalls for horses and chariots and 12,000 horses. What? Solomon had 4,000 thousand stalls for horses and chariots and twelve thousand horses uh, the upper twelve thousand horsemen and then here twelve thousand uh, horses oh man what is that how come it become four thousand and forty forty thousand is that the bible is that the bible you are reading you christian you Christian people, are you reading this? Even children can tell you this is a contradiction. Hey, king and the first king, somebody wrote that Solomon had 40,000. So there is no difference between 4,000 and 40,000? No, no, no. This is a contradiction, says Dan Baker. Now, okay, this is what they show us. Now let's go, my friend, let's go to the Bible and see it ourselves. Now, please, please, please read. Jesus said, It is better for heaven and earth to pass away 
than a single word, an iota of my word will pass away, be dismissed. Okay? Don't play with the word of God. Now let's read. Uh, the same, the same, we, we, we're not doing anything. We just are reading the same topic. And Solomon had 40,000 stalls for horses, for his chariots, and 12,000 horsemen. Okay, this is First Kings 20, uh, 4, 26. And let's go to the second one. Second Chronicles 9, 25. And Solomon had 4,000 stalls for four horses and chariots and 12,000 horsemen whom he bestowed in the chariot cities. Where? In the chariot cities. And with the king at Jerusalem. Can you see? Is that the same? Is that the same? Are these two verses the same? Can you say they are the same? This is how they play with the word of God. And they call themselves biblical scholars, and they call themselves great men of high stature. These are nothing but liars and deceivers. They are always there to lie with the word of God. Here is a chariot cities, the cities in Jerusalem where the king is protected by the chariots, you know, where the king. But the other one is telling us totally different thing. It's totally different. Let's let's go up a little bit. For example, it says Solomon's power, wealth, and wisdom. It's a totally, totally different. It's, it's talking about the wealth of Solomon, how much money he had, how much horses he had, how many how many horses he had. Whatever he had, this is the summary of that is written in the first king chapter four. Chapter four. So Solomon had totally how much? Four thousand. Solomon had forty thousand. This is total total. In different cities. In different parts of Israel, Solomon had totally how much? 40,000 stalls of horses for his chariots and 12,000 horsemen. It, it's, it's not the same. It's not the same. The food and everything, it is it's telling us something different. But these people, they are there to deceive you, to deceive us. But here, where is this? This is, a, this is bestowed in the chariot cities and with the king at Jerusalem. At Jerusalem, how, man, how many horses? 4,000 horses. At Jerusalem, how many horses? 4,000 horses. In all over Israel, how many? 40,000 horses. This is the Bible, what the Bible says. But this... Crooked men, they are there. These are Bible scholars. When it's upon a time, they were what? Bible scholars. Let's listen to them. 40,000 stalls for his horses. Well, so uh, how many stalls did King Solomon have for his horses? <laughs> One verse says he had 40,000. Another verse telling the same story said he had... Is that the same story? Is that this one? Is the same story? Is that the same story? 4,000. So which is it? 40,000 or 4,000? Th these are, are numbers of biblical proportion, you notice. These yeah. Are so exact. yeah, biblical proportions. <laughs> these are biblical numbers of biblical proportions. These are the wise men and the wise women of America. Ha, 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 ha. Thank you for watching and we can, will continue debunking and showing to people that these people are nothing but scumbags, scams, scammers, liars, and deceivers. They don't tell the truth.
Why? 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 Look. Why the cut the verse? If you have the verse, 925 had many words in it. Many words. The series, but they cut half of the verse, only half of the verses. Why? Because it is deception. Thank you for watching. May the Lord richly bless you. Until we meet in another program, have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.